Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbylead.com. We are starting the day off with some basketball. It's a four-box break, number seven, from a fresh case of 2017-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Nice. All teams are in. I think I got that list right. Yeah, all teams are in. And we'll randomize each of those lists. One and a four, five times for each list. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times. After five times, we've got Max on the pole and got Alex Lindsay in the 30 spot. And then one and a four, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, we have the Denver Nuggets on top and the Timberwolves in the 30 spot. All right, so Max, you have the Denver Nuggets. Jen with the Pacers. Mike Cody, Knicks. Josh Proust with the Kings. Kip Kip Hooray with OKC. Dylan with the Raptors. Andrew K. Last Bond Mojo. Spurs. Darren, DMAC, Warriors, Will with the Cavs, Peter with the Suns, Moody with the Hawks, Will with the Nets and Pistons, Brad, you have the Portland Trailblazers, Moody with the Celtics, Max, you got the Rockets, Jazz for Rory Sears, Will with the Hornets, Moody with the Wizards, Brad Barnes with the Sixers, David Kiss with the Lakers, Will with the Mavericks, Charles, you got the Heat, Michael, Grizz, Rory Sears, Magic, Brad Barnes, Clip Show, Moody, Bills, not Bills, Bulls, Bulls and Bucks, Football on the brain. Brad Barnes, Pelicans, and Alex Lindsay with the Timberwolves. It's kind of weird that the next set of games aren't happening for a few days. Get a little extra travel time, I guess. All right, so feel free to trade if you'd like. And while you're thinking about trades, I'm going to be thinking about which four boxes we're going to do. So let's pop this open. This is the Donner's Optic Basketball. Okay, I got the right case. So we'll roll the die. We'll use this guy right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to be doing the middle boxes here. These other boxes we will save for next time. All right, so a ton of parallels, one autograph per box. Any trades? No trades. Doesn't look like it. We'll go ahead and close up that trade window. All right, let's print this guy out. So that list right there remains the same. Let's make it official by printing it out. All right, good luck, everybody. So knowing what we know now, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've got two two games each in the West and the Eastern Conference Finals, what does everyone think? How does how does everyone think the season's gonna gonna play out? Those series, how does, how does everyone think those series are gonna play out? There's the official printout. Does LeBron James do LeBron things? Win two in Cleveland? He's gotta win two. I don't think one's gonna do it. Celtics do struggle a little bit away from uh, away from home. That could be a thing. What about the Rockets? They played a great game last night. Now they've got the series tied 1-1 going into Oakland, going to the home of the Golden State Warriors. Do the Rockets have a chance? Everyone, everyone assumed that the Celtic or the uh, the Warriors were just going to roll through. But do the Rockets actually have a chance? Robert Rohr says the C's will just win four straight. They're going to sweep. It's possible. Definitely possible.
What does everyone else think? You know, have any thoughts on that? I th I still think I, I think the Cavs are definitely in trouble. I mean, they're they're gonna show they're gonna show a lot of what they're made of in Game Three, um, or not, as the case may be. It's hard to count out LeBron James. There could be some subtle changes the Cavs can make to 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 improve, but can't count out LeBron James. That's all I can say. Rockets, though. I can actually see the Rockets taking this to seven games. I really can. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Mike Cody. No, it's all good. You got, you got the New York Knicks. All right, there's Josh Jackson. Champions here, Kyrie Irving out of 175, Cavs edition. Suppose the Cavs could use a Kyrie. Actually, the Celtics or the Cavs, they didn't need Kyrie Irving to get to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's kind of the irony. There's nice Jason Tatum. He's been balling out, playing some good ball. I guess we'll save that Josh Jackson, too. Where'd that Josh Jackson go? I know that's that's not a it's not a hollow, but we'll say the hollow ones are the are, are the more important ones. There's Paul George Pacers edition, and there's blue Marcus Gasol. Blue Marcus Gasol for the Grizz. That's for Michael Brinson. That's out of 49, and the Cavs edition of Kyrie's for Will Bartle. That is out of 175. And our autograph is Tree Rollins. Signature series, old Tree Rollins for Moody and the Atlanta Hawks. There you go. There's our auto. We got Yusef Nurkic, red. Nurkic Red for the Portland Trail Blazers. Brad Barnes with the Blazers. 88 out of 99. And 28 out of 39, Mario Chalmers. Velocity, black velocity for Michael Brinson and the Grizzlies. 28 out of 39. Some more color coming up. Gallinari. Gallinari Orange for the Clippers. 167 out of 199. All right, nice start. I'll sleeve up all these guys and we'll get to the next box. We've got the uh, other two thirds of the case. Another two four box breaks in the store right now. Jaspieshobbyland.com. So go ahead and check it out. It's only uh, $16.99 a team, which is a pretty good deal. Low risk and uh, potentially high reward with some of these big, uh, big rookie names that are in here. All right. Good luck, everybody. All right, so no, 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 nobody, nobody has has any other thoughts on the conference finals, huh? Oh, I just hope I just hope the Cavs can keep it competitive. I don't see the see the Rockets get the take the edge on that series. Listen, here's the thing. It's before last year. I don't think there was any team. In the NBA Finals, did not did not face each other uh, three times in a row until last year, when the Cavs and the and the Warriors met for the third time in a row. Can it happen four times in a row? I'm guessing no. I mean, maybe it'll be Celtics Warriors. Maybe it'll be Cavs Cavs Rockets. I feel like either way, the West is going to destroy any team in the East, right? Comes out of the East. 
I mean, the Warriors or the Rockets may have too much, too much firepower for either team in the East. Okay, Josh Proust. Oh, now we got some opinions here. Josh Proust is saying Rockets in six. Yeah, I think it's six, probably maybe even seven. Ray saying, I uh, hope my Rockets will win. Tough series, though. Showed a lot in game two, though. I mean, they, they pretty much have to replicate that. They could snag a game away a, a, a game away, and then they just kind of battle back and forth. Because the series is two games there, two games here, and then 1-1-1. One, one, one. Although I think I kind of like the I kind of like the old 2-3-2 two, two format. I guess no one likes that anymore, the old 2-3-2 two, two format. J.R. Smith has got to start performing a little bit better. If the Cavs want to have a chance. There's Ricky Rubio, Dan Smith Jr. And we've got gold Isaiah Thomas, Celtics edition. That is 4 out of 10 for IT4. Jersey number. Nailed, nailed the jersey number. Celtics, Moody. With that one. That card is gold, Moods. Gold. There's Lori Markinen, rated rookie, pink velocity. That's nice. There's Dan Smith Jr. That's just a regular one, not a refractor. And the Ricky Rubio orange for the Timberwolves. That'll go to Alex Lynn. Nope, Jazz. That goes to Rory Sears. Jazz edition of Ricky Rubio. Lori Markkinen for Moody and the Bulls. And your autograph is gold. Chris, Chris McCullough. Signature series. For the Washington Wizards, you're a wizard, Moody. Five out of ten, another goal for you. That card is gold. Steph Curry healthy? Or is he just being overworked? Some people think he might not quite be 100%. All clear for takeoff, Zach Levine. We got Juwan Evans for the Clippers. We got De'Aaron Fox. A nice hollow, Devin Reed. Suns, that'll be for Peter Eng, De'Aaron Fox, Kings, Josh Pruce, and Juwan Evans, Clippers. Uh, that's for Brad Barnes. That is 153 out of 175. Mike Cody saying, I'll say Warriors in six, but he hopes he's wrong. Teodosic, Silver, Vince Carter. And we've got five out of ten. Another gold. This box is gold. Trevor Ariza. Houston. Speaking of the Houston Rockets, Max with the Rockets. Five out of ten. Trevor Ariza had a good game the other night. Need him to keep doing that throughout the series. If the Rockets want to keep up with the Warriors. All right, nice box, next box. Already halfway there. Ray's like, I'll just be happy to see any team but the Warriors win the championship. Good luck, boys and girls. I guess I just wanna see a good, just wanna see a good series, a competitive series. So that's why I'm definitely I definitely want the Cavs to really to bounce back, have a really good game three, and kind of keep the series in the conversation as opposed to you know putting in the rear view mirror. I think the the big talk. For the Cavs, anyway, because I think the, I think the Rockets Warriors series would be competitive. A little worried about the Celtics uh, Celtics Cavs series, but people are. I think Kobe Bryant said this in his uh, in his detail show on ESPN Plus on his detail show, and and I think Tracy McGrady on ESPN's The Jump, which is a great basketball show, on on The Jump, T Mac 
Tracy McGrady was also saying that, that LeBron needs to go into the post more often. He, if, he, if he's at the perimeter trying to dribble, drive in or something like that, but he's got to catch the ball in the post, preferably close to the basket, maybe even at the elbow. But if he's starting, starting out at the perimeter, it's extra dribbles, you know, he gets he he's got to conserve that energy. And the, and the Celtics apparently I think you can kind of see this if you're watching the game. Can't really stop LeBron in the post. He's a big dude. I don't know, they'll have to make those adjustments. And you got to hope like guys like Jordan Clarkson does something. Any guesses on that redemption? Whatever happens in the series though, Kevin Durant's going to get his. I don't think the Rockets have an answer for him. Even if they win, I, th I think he's gonna he's gonna get so many points. <laughs> he's he's just gonna be unstoppable. Marquise Chris for the Suns at a one ninety nine. Jen's like, hey, anyone but the Cavs. There's Jawan Evans, Silver, Lori Markin, and rated rated rookie West of Wundu Red. Thirteen out of ninety nine. The Marquise Chris for the Suns was out of one ninety nine. Orlando Magic for the Wundu is Rory Sears. Suns, Peter Eng, Lori Markinen, just a regular rated rookie card for the Bulls and Moody. I guess there is a bit of a, a Warriors Cavs Warriors Cavs fatigue, right? I mean, who really does anybody want to see them four times in a row? There's Ben Simmons hollow. That actually, even though it's the second year, I think it still, still carries some value. Sixers, Brad Barnes. Yeah, but I, th I think there's there's a little Cavs-Warriors fatigue. There's like, do we want to see these guys again four times in a row? You know, let's let's spice things up a little bit. Let's mix it up a little bit, I think, is what a lot of fans are feeling. Rodney Hood, pink velocity. And all clear for takeoff, Jalen Brown, red. 74 out of 99. There you go, one of the big reasons why Celtics are doing so well. That'll go to the C's. That's for Moody and Rodney Hood. Jazz edition for Rory Sears. 49 out of 79. Yeah, Celtics Rockets definitely seem like a nice possibility. Reggie Jackson out of 175 for the Pistons. Uh, that'll go to Will Bartle. And last box coming up. And Ray saying, Sam, are you happy you're defeated the Jazz this playoff? Still feeling hurt about those years, how we lost to the Jazz. Oh, with that Yao and T-Mac Rockets, right. Man. That, that team was good. Oh, you guys are an anti-LeBron house? Is that what it is? Nice. Rated rookie signatures. Hello. Josh Jackson for the Suns. Peter Eng and the Suns. Nice one, Peter. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. <laughs> oh, you get that too. Nice hit. Now sign your cards, Josh. He was at the draft lottery the other night. What is it about LeBron James? Is he... There's just something about him. I don't, I don't really have a problem with, with LeBron. I'm not anti-LeBron James at all, but I think what makes me sort of eh about LeBron James, I feel like he's too self-aware. Does that make sense? You know, like... So, like, he tries to be humble, but at some point I'm just like, dude, you're the best basketball player on the planet right now. Just own it. Just wear it. And every, everything seems to be too polished, you know? Everything seems to be too polished. Uh, everyone whines every play, though. James Harden whines. Steph Curry whines. Kobe Bryant whines. You know, Kevin Durant whines. Draymond Green whines. Larry Bird whines. Magic Johnson whines. Michael Jordan whines. Everybody whines. I just think he's just too, 
I think he's just too polished. Like, it's almost a little too polished. Like, he knows he's a business machine. You know, a very good one at that. But, but he's just too... I don't know. Too polished, I think. Yeah, the Kevin Durant going to the Warriors thing. I mean, I get that. You know, he's a free agent. He didn't demand a trade or anything like that. He 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 was he was he did what you know he's allowed to do. I respect him for that. I don't know if I would have picked the Warriors. I just I don't know. I just feel like just the, the team that beat you. I don't know. I just I just didn't just didn't really feel that. All right, there's Grant Hill. I guess that's kind of what I'm saying, Jen. Out of 199, Joel Embiid. Great season for him. Sixers. Keep him healthy. And some sizzling Dwayne Bacon. That'll go to Charlotte. That'll be for Will. Like, at least this... No, that's not Kobe Ryan. As I was gonna say, at least Kobe knew that he was he was a jerk. And I guess I I mean I don't know if I don't know if LeBron is that, but just there's something not not that doesn't feel quite authentic. Sixty one out of ninety nine. Yusef Nurkic. What happens to Yusef Nurkic? Restricted free agent for the Portland Trailblazers. Do they bring him back? Do they match offers? Do they give him a max offer out of one ninety nine? Joel Embiid. Harry Giles, Hollow. Ray, how would you feel about, I mean, the, the LeBron to the Rockets has always been a bit of a rumor. What do you think about that? Gallinari. Pink Velocity for the Clippers, 7 out of 79. And once again, folks, we do have more, um, we do have more of this in the store, so check it out. Semi Ogilvy out of 175 for the Seas. And Kemba Walker, swishful thinking, out of 175 for the Hornets. Charlotte Hornets, that'll be for Will. LeBron to the Sixers? I don't know if that young team wants to mess with that chemistry. I'm thinking, before I close out this break, I'm thinking uh, the Lime Green is out of 175. Um, heat, Miami Heat. That's my hot take. Warm take, maybe it's not a hot take, like a, like a lukewarm take. I think he's been associated with the Heat already. Oh, did I forget these? No, I don't think I did. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the break. That was uh, Donner's Optic Basketball number seven from jazbeeshobbyland.com. More basketball talk. More basketball breaks. We can do it tonight. Jazbeeshobbyland.com. The other two-thirds of the case are in the website, on the website already. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Jazbeeshobbyland.com.